Hi there, everyone. I um, just wanted to send a little message uh, on the heels of that letter that went round earlier today from the COVID response team, our very own answer to the COBRA team at KBC, uh, which basically outlined some of the measures we've had to make to keep in line with what the government is saying and uh, Public Health England and the Baptist Union of Great Britain in terms of, uh, of safe gathering. And so we're sadly having to sort of stop meeting as we would normally do on a Sunday or during the week. Um, and uh, that's part of us protecting those who might be vulnerable amongst us, but also playing our part in curbing the spread of the disease, slowing it down so that uh, capacity of the NHS can keep up with, with the need and so on. So we're doing our bit. Um, and, but, and that's a bit of a blow to us because obviously gathering together is a really important part of our of what it means to be church. But we are going to try and get creative and innovative about how we stay connected, uh, whether that's through um, live streaming Sunday services or YouTube videos like this, uh, whether it's through um, text, but mess text messages, Facebook messages, uh, or the humble telephone, the landline, uh, we can avail ourselves of those means by which to stay connected. It's my prayer, actually, that uh, during these days we will become more deeply um, connected to one another, that our fellowship will be intensified um, and that our spiritual lives will be enriched as we press more into God, as we lean on him more and on one another uh, during these days of challenge. Um, I wanted just to share a few thoughts on Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 8, which I were drawn to as I was thinking about what to say. Paul says this, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Uh, in these few words, Paul just uh, gives us some great advice for this current climate, doesn't he? Firstly, rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord, even in difficulty. Rejoice. Remember to praise God and be thankful. Um, sometimes we realise all the more in times of crisis what are the valuable things in life and the good things that God has done and given us. And so let's praise God for who he is and for what he's done in our lives. Let's make sure that our brains, uh, the lion's share is not given to coronavirus, but is given to the Lord uh, in praise and worship. And one of the advantages of being ho uh, holed up and housebound during this time is perhaps we can carve out a portion of every day to praise him and to pray. Uh, and uh, that's really important. So let's be doing that. Um, let's um, our, let our, ev our gentleness be evident to all, as Paul says. Let's have that ministry of gentleness and consideration for one another. Uh, do be ringing and contacting one another and just seeing how uh, people are doing. Um, we're, we've got some practical ways of facilitating and coordinating help uh, and they'll be in the letter. So uh, if you need help uh, with practical things like getting food to your door, if you're uh, in self-isolation and so on, or if you can volunteer to help others, uh, please email lynn at that uh, help at kidlington-baptist.org.uk uh, um, email address that's in the letter. Um, Paul says this, the Lord is near. The Lord is near. People are like, oh no, coronavirus is at the door. No, the Lord is nearer. The Lord is closer. He's closer than your very heartbeat. And we need to remember that. And that's the grounds perhaps uh, uh, by which Paul is able to give this extraordinary exhortation, do not be anxious about anything. Ah, that seems easier said than done. But Paul says, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. Uh, and he gives us this incredible antidote to anxiety, which is to pray. You know, we might not be, do, be able to do many things uh, during these days, but we can pray. And actually, prayer is the unique, valuable and powerful uh, contribution that we as the church of Jesus can uniquely contribute towards this crisis. And so we need to, with prayer and petition, pray for our own needs, but also for the needs of our, our church family, but also the needs for our world. Uh, and actually, God will hear our prayers because he is near and he loves us and he's our father. Of course, he's going to be there. Of course, he's going to provide for us. So let's be praying during these days. Um, let's be fixing our minds on good things rather than on the, the sad things uh, and the depressing things and the despair ridden things. Let's uh, not spend all of our time looking at uh, our news feeds uh, or uh, listening to the radio for stories of, of woe. But uh, let's ration that and instead make sure that we celebrate the good things that God has done and is doing 
uh, and all the beautiful things that we can still enjoy and, and praise God, as, as we said at the beginning. So let's uh, be mindful about how we ration our thoughts uh, and how we uh, apportion them. Um, and when we do all of that, we hope and pray. And my prayer for you uh, today is that the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Yeah, and that's a peace that is deeper than any peace the world can offer. That is a joy uh, that is more powerful and potent than any human emotion or, or passing feeling. And so let's avail ourselves of these gifts that God wants to give us at this time. Hope, peace, uh, love, uh, reassurance, um, all of these things uh, let's offer to one another through fellowship, but also uh, enjoy as they are given to us by God. So God bless you. Thinking of you at this time. Be in touch if you need anything. Uh, love you all.